Maybe a little uh, little kickoff with a little question of the day. Why not? Let's do it. Maximalist shoes, okay? And here's a stack height on your screen. We're gonna have to have a discussion about this today. We got boxes, another box upstairs. Question of the day, favorite maximalist shoe in the past two years, all right, and why? That's the QD down below in the comments, and we're gonna, we're gonna break this down because the, the categories are shifting right before our eyes, all right? Ah, uh, yeah, all right, I'll stop there. Let's get rolling. Oh, mama. Up we go, out we go, into the cold. All right. Whoa, we're going to get that blue, blue bar on the screen here in a minute. But first, second QD, just thought of this, and I'm, I'm very serious about this. Please, please let me know in the comments what company, what model, what running shoe do you really, really want me to get that shoe as quick as possible for a shoe review, okay? Let me know in the comments, like, is there one that I haven't done already? And here, the, actually, I'll just put on the screen in like the last month, we are rocking it, but I know there's a lot of shoes that are coming onto the uh, marketplace soon-ish, and there's a lot of companies, and there's a lot of contacts, and there's a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls back and forth with these brands, and I wanna make sure I'm reviewing the shoes that you are interested in, and so, over time, they'll become a consensus of, let's say, the top five road, top three trail shoes down in the comments based on your thoughts, all right? Let's go. Okay, thank you for doing that because, uh, you know, there's just, there's hundreds, you know, every year, hundreds of shoes every year, and uh, you gotta make it happen, you know what I mean? I get, give yourself a little leash when you are strategizing your training locations. Three years ago, I don't even know what I was training for, but I definitely was not coming up to 12,000 feet where I'm at right now in the winter time. I was in the spring. I think I was just getting ready for the summer, you know, mountain running season. Two years ago, getting ready for uh, Naples half marathon. Turned out well, PR down there, and I definitely was getting up high in the winter months leading into, it was more December though, because the race is in January. So now, uh, it's, I, I, I'm learning, I continue to learn, and that's whatever happens in California in, you know, 10 days or whatever, 11 days, um, the process of going through this training block is learning the, and think, I always want to throw it back to you. Think about wherever you live, whether you're by the ocean, whether you're, you know, in the mountains, whether you're on the plains, wherever, a big, huge city like Tokyo or something, you, you will discover the best strategies and the best training locations to match whatever race style you're getting ready for, whether it's, you know, a, a race with a lot of vertical, race that changes from pavement to dirt and back and forth or muddy or whatever. It just take, give yourself patience. It's a, t I'm gonna say two to three year process because every two to three years, sorry, every year you're gonna have three races, uh, sorry, three training blocks, maybe four major training blocks, and those are moments, opportunities to learn, and that's what I'm going through right now. How do I train in the wintertime in Colorado to get ready for a trail race? And it's been a fun learning experience. Not saying I nailed it, we'll see, um, but give yourself a little leash as we get rolling. All right, let's do this. Uh, Solomon Speed Cross 6. R&D. R&D in full swing, all right? Let's, let's, oh man. You know, I actually do, I'll admit it, I have a folder of just coffee clips in the uh, on the external hard drive, the master external hard drive. We've been doing a lot of coffee over the past six years, everybody. Um, R&D, testing out mugs, you better believe it. Here we go. Mm-hmm. We'll see if it, uh, is up to snuff, all right? Just testing, just testing. All right, here we go, let's go. Go get it in the mail, everybody. This is for, uh, well, let's put the blue bar on the screen right now. Mm. 
Bullish. I forgot how incredible these shoes are. The Asics Gel Cumulus 24s. I realized they came out a long time ago. Asics sent me two pairs. I don't need the second pair. I'm giving these away on Instagram. That's right, early bird gets the worm. The first to tag me with their shoe size, seven and a half men's US. I realize like it's just, that's my shoe size, all right? So first one to tag me gets these shoes. I'm telling you everyone, I will link to the full review in the description. I I'm, I cannot wait till the 25, but this is one of my, I, I put them on my feet the other day. They feel amazing. Not a crazy high stack height. Anyway, I digress. Who's going to win them? Winner, winner, chicken dinner on Instagram. Many of you already know this. We have a research team for the shoes, okay? So we got some boxes to open up. We just got to do it because the quicker I can unbox the shoes, whoa, this light is a little, a little serious here. Okay, the quicker we can uh, unbox the shoes, the quicker I can let the team know, the research team, which shoes need to be researched. All right, so we've got four boxes here. This arrived, uh, it's kind of heavy. I don't know what, let's just see here. What is going on here? Um, oh, very, very good. Colorado Alpine trail runs colorado alpine trail runs by annalise uh, gruder i just saw honestly this popped up on amazon amazon they got me i popped up oh my goodness this is awesome just for colorado colorado alpine trail runs i cannot wait to get that uh into the rotation all right ricky hey ricky 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 thank you from utah what does it say? Run simple action, profound effect. Thank you, Ricky. Oh, there's a note as well. Ricky, I will read this note here in a little bit. Uh, very good. He says, we are on Etsy at outdoorendurance.etsy.com. Very cool. Thank you from, oh, sorry. I, th it's, I think it's Vermont, not Utah. Uh, it's hard to say. Let me get the knife. By the way, Matt, comment of the day. Thank you, Matt. Great comment of the day. A little shared DGR experience at the Pikes Peak Marathon. Couldn't agree more with you there, Matt, on that comment of the day. All right, beholden to no one. Ugh. This company, I don't know. Oh, Anteps, A-N-T-E-P-E-S. A brand new running shoe company. They reached out to me and I've never ever held a shoe in my hand. And what the idea, based on what I know, and again, this is where the research team comes in, is that they're trying to promote forefoot running in their shoes. At least the shoe they sent me. Shout out to, you know who you are on the research team. Oh, mama, hey, hey, hey. Let's move that there. All right, one, two, and three. Oh, <laughs> thank you. But, <laughs> Thank you, Solomon. I love you, but I think this is the second pair. Pulsar Trail Pro 2. We will give these away once. Not today, but we will give those away. I already have that pair. All right, let's keep rolling. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, Solomon. What are we doing here? One, two. Oh, yes. Now we're talking Ultra Glide 2 in for test. Oh, that is butter. Ultra Glide 1, it's sitting right over there. I see it. There it is. Oh, my, my. Soak it in. That is so exciting. Literally looks like butter. DGR strong. Okay. One, two. Woo. Okay. I'm getting worn out. Oh. Woo. Another Solomon. Okay. Here we go. One, two, and three. The Pulsar SG. Pulsar SG from Solomon. There it is for testing. Solomon Pulsar SG in a nice charcoal colorway. I like that charcoal there. All right, beautiful. Onward and upward. Love y'all. We will toss it to, um, oh man, we'll toss it to how to find your niche within running. All right, how to find your niche within running. I think it connects well. All right, right there, right there. Love you all. Keep turning that doorknob. Onward and upward. All right, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow.